So I wanted to make a guide on how to perform a shattered goho attack. And the reason I like this attack so much is because it can work on so many different styles of bases. But this video is going to be a little weird because all the replays that I have saved for this are previously recorded videos from the app that I use. So I'm going to be recording my voiceover um, over top of already recorded videos. So as you can see, like the pause thing for the actual video. So this is the base. So I'm going to be pausing and playing to explain. Unfortunately, I don't have enough attacks and replays saved in the game. I just have them recorded. So I'm going to try and explain uh, how this strategy works because um, it it's pretty much performed exactly the same on any of these bases. So the kind of base that this strategy works on best are bases that have like a noticeable four quadrants, like you can see here. Um, if there's like four sections of the base and it's completely symmetrical, um, those are the kind of bases that this attack will easily three star if performed correctly. So um, I guess you can use a variation of different methods. You can use one golem, two golems. I like it with two golems, but in, I guess for this attack, I used only one golem and I used a witch. So I'm just gonna play the attack and try to explain how to perform it. So first you have to lure the CC. So you need to figure out a way to lure the CC, whether you wanna use a giant, if the, see the clan castle radius is close enough to the outside. Um, then you want to bring them out to a corner. I guess this this uh, replay was done before the update, so I didn't have a poison spell. Um, so I think, yeah, that's why I brought the witch. You bring the witch, and then you drop your queen, and it really helps take out the troops. And I dropped my king right away because I already knew after the wall breakers break in through that wall and the golem goes in that the king was immediately going to go into that section. So that's not a thing. You need to bring some wall breakers um, if the queen is deep into the base like this one. And all the, the replays I'm going to show, the queen is all the way in the center of the base, but this can still work. So you need a jump spell as well and three heals preferably. So you kind of just wait patiently. Your king and queen need to be like at least level 10 plus for this to work. So you drop the jump spell where the queen is and those two golems can also jump in there and hopefully aggro to the queen. And once she's dead, that's when you do the actual attack. You, you bring in a giant on each of the four quadrants with like the same number of hogs on each side. And then you drop the healing uh, a little deeper into the base, preferably over all the defenses that the hogs are going to be occupying and on spots where uh, empty spots where it looked like gi uh, giant bombs could be like right there I dropped it over those empty spots where the, there were giant bombs and then if done correctly all your hogs will meet up in the middle kill the king and then proceed to clear the rest of the base it's always nice to have cleanup troops as well like some goblins um, maybe some archers barbarians or just whatever anything that doesn't take up a lot of space and you bring them as, as a cleanup because sometimes you like in this attack the hogs are all they're all together taking out everything so they're going from one thing to the next and if you are a little slow on this on the clan castle lure and the kill um, this could this could run you out of time if you don't have enough cleanup troops but for this attack I had enough and it worked out nicely. So you already see where this is going. So let me bring up the next base. Like I said, this is going to be weird because I'm recording over recordings. So the next one I believe is... Somewhere around here. It's a 51 point eight megabyte video there it is okay so 
let's take a look at this base. So this base looks noticeably different. Um, but but nonetheless, you can still see like the four kind of quadrant areas on the base with the defenses all kind of symmetrical around the base, around four quadrants. And so right in the middle where you see the queen, um, the queen platform, that's where I'm going to send my golems in with the wall breakers and the jump spell. So in this attack, I use two golems. So this would be this would be considered a shattered goho. When it's called shattered when you're using two golems. Uh, uh, I forget what it's called if you're just using one golem. But some bases you can only you, you can use just one. But I like to use two, um, especially if the base is really upgraded. It just gives your heroes more time to uh, clear some stuff out. So really, with with the shattered approach. It's like you're sending your golems and your heroes and your wizards into one quadrant and then you're sending your giants and hogs into the other three quadrants with heals. And they should all like meet up in the middle and clear the base. So again you have to lure clan castle. So I did that with just two hogs um, on that archer tower there. Again this is before the poison spell. Then you want to bring them preferably to where you're going to send in your heroes from so you you can kill the, the CC troops there and in case there's a dragon like this and your, your poison doesn't kill all the CC troops then the dragon will get distracted by the golems that you put down just like this and then your wizards will eventually take out the dragon so you have to use the wizards to funnel the things around the outside to ensure that your king goes right into where you busted the wall open with the wall breakers and you jump the you drop the jump spell um, and as soon as the queen starts to hit one of the golems and uh, and the king is close enough he jumps right in there and just takes her out and i always like to use the rate use his ability like right as he's in unless he's already at full health when he goes to attack but so here again i'm sending putting a giant on each quadrant with about the same number of hogs for each one. Um, I think it was like nine hogs each. And then you drop the heal spells in a little deep. Um, so the hogs can, as the hogs travel inward, they can be healed up and not have to really worry about taking too much damage from all defenses. So you're getting like all the defenses distracted all at the same time. And they all meet up in the middle and kill the king and then proceed to help clean up the base so this is like such an effective strategy and this is a fully maxed out base this guy's like level 116 his walls are like almost all maxed everything was maxed um, and you want to send in giants on each quadrant before the hogs because the giant will tank um, from the single point defenses for the hogs. So the hogs don't take too much damage when they're coming in and you don't really have to use a heal for them. So, okay, let's see the next attack. Can you dig it? I believe it is this one. So even a base like this, it doesn't look like, you know, it's it still has like a sort of like four quadrant looking, like you have a lot of defenses that are all kind of concentrated in, in four corners of the base. That's what you're looking for when you want to perform this attack. And you don't have to worry about double giant bombs because you're not sending all of your hogs from like one or two spots. You're sending them all in like all around the map. So if your hogs happen to uh, walk over double giant bombs, it's most likely only gonna be like two or three or four of them. So again, you always start with the lure. So this guy had his clan castle right on the outside. So it was really easy to just get everything out. Just one hog. I think I'd send, I sent a hog in right there to see if there was a giant bomb there. And then I just used the giant to 
bring them all out. And this was after the update, so I used poison to kill everything, but he had Valkyries, so uh, I actually proceeded to do the actual attack, like bring in my golems. It's always nice to have a golem in a clan castle. So you send out your golems in two spots so you can secure that your wizards aren't going to get hit and so that your wall breakers don't get hit as well. Your wall breakers is a key thing too. If your wall breakers don't get to bust in through that wall, it's just going to take the attack that much longer and you might run out of time. So again, sending them in closest to where the queen platform is with the jump spell. So the king goes in there, takes out the queen pretty quickly. And with the golems going in there as well, they're going to distract the expos and like other defenses which is a plus for, you know, when you're sending in your hogs. So you see, you send a giant in first. Now the giant is taking fire from the archer towers and the cannon before they even lock onto the hogs. The giant, like, they're going to keep on shooting the giant until he's dead. Um, even if the hogs get closer to them than the giant, they're going to continue shooting on the giant because that's what they have targeted. So they're not going to drop target until he's dead. You can see that giant there still taking attacks. And the hogs don't get hit until he's dead. So it actually allows you to spare some time with the heals. Your hogs can have some tanking from just one giant. So just, you know, five spaces. Instead of just sending your hogs in, you know, hogs have half the health of a giant. So essentially one hog that from that group is going to be tanking for the rest of those hogs. So you're better off just sending a giant there, has double the HP, um, and takes up the same amount of space. Just makes it that much better, and then the rest is just cleanup. And I have one more to show. And I think it is this one right here. So this one, is a little bit different because it's actually like an anti three star base. It's an anti, anti certainly an anti hog base because he had double giant bombs. Um, and the queen is really deep into the middle, so it's like it's really hard to get a three star with almost any other strategy. Um, but with this strategy, it works just fine. So you find a spot where you know the clan castle troops are going to come out. So I knew that if I just sent a hog there, with that expo set to ground, the hog would start taking way too much damage and die before all the clan castle troops came out. So I sent a giant first, and even then they all I was, wasn't sure if they all came out, so I sent another hog just in case. Then I bring them to where um, I'm going to send my golems. I lure them with an archer, and then I drop a poison uh, to get all the wizards. Now these balloons can kind of be a problem because as you see the wizard, it takes the wizards a little bit of time to actually get to them so that one golem is actually going to take like a ton of damage from those balloons. But it's the same thing, it's just wall breakers, like four to five wizards, um, and then your heroes. And you have to set up that funnel properly. If, if your king goes around the outside it's not going to work. Um, if you wait too long on the heals. For your hogs it's not gonna work if you mess up the jump spell it's not gonna work if your king dies before he gets to the queen it's not gonna work so all this has to work out like perfectly so I didn't even know that there was gonna be a Tesla there I sent a giant wow storage space is running out wonderful but it's like the same it's the same thing basically a giant first then groups of hogs and then you want to Make sure that you don't forget to drop the heals. Like I, I like to send a giant, a group of hogs on one quadrant, and then a giant and a group of hogs on a second quadrant, and then I drop two heals, and then I drop the third giant with the last group of hogs, and then the third heal. That usually works out the best. You don't want to like try and do too many things at once. Like you don't want to try and drop the giant, couple hogs, giant, couple hogs, giant, couple hogs, because I've done that before, thinking that. My hogs would live long enough, and by the time I drop the first heal, the whole first group of hogs is dead. So you want to like kind of keep an eye on everything, especially your queen as well. You want to keep an eye on her health, because if she goes down, it's going to make it really hard to clean up the base with the hogs. 
um, you want to keep an eye on your health and make sure that you cloak in time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully those replays helped. And as always, thanks for watching.